This is question three on problem solving from the 2016 IMAT. So we're given a biscuit tin, which has four identical sides, then the top and the bottom. So the top and the bottom are not painted, but each of the sides is painted either red or blue. So based on this, how many different tins can be made? So let's try and do this systematically and visualize each of our tins. So we could start by having all of the four sides blue, like so. I've drawn it so we can see all of our faces to make it a little bit easier to visualize. And we know we're not painting the top or the bottom. So this is one of our tins. Where would it make sense to go next? So we could change one of these sides to red, like so. So are there any other ways of having three blues and one red? So if you swap these two around, it will still be the same tin, because then the tin can spin around as all these four sides are identical. So this is the only way of having three blues and one red. Then what about two of each? So we can do it like this, where we have the blue sides next to each other and the red sides next to each other. Are there any other ways of having two of each? So we can have the blues opposite each other and the reds opposite each other. And these are the only two different ways. So that's two more types of tin. So what next? We could add one more red side to have three reds and one blue. And we know there's only one way of having three of one color and one of a different color. Then what's our final tin? We could have all of the sides red. So we've done it systematically. So we know we've not left any out. And these are our six possible types. So our final answer is that six different tins can be made, which corresponds to A on a question paper.